In this video, you will be learning how to find the area of irregular shapes. To find the area of an irregular shape, you will be using the approximation method when using graph paper. An image will be placed over the graph paper and you will count the number of grid squares. First, you will underestimate the area of the image given by counting the number of grid squares that are completely covered by the image. Next, you will overestimate the area of the image. You'll do this by counting all of the grid squares that contain any portion of the image. After you do this, you will find the average of the two areas. Say I want to find the area of this pond in feet. If each grid represents one foot by one foot, then the area of a square is one square foot. So first I will underestimate the area of the image. This is all of the grid squares that are covered by the image. When I count this it equals 25 squares which is 25 square feet. Next I'm going to overestimate the area I do this by counting all of the blocks that contain a portion of the image. Even if it is just a very small amount, I will still count it. When I do this, it equals to 47 squares, which is 47 feet squared. Then I want to find the average of the two. So I add 25 square feet to 47 square feet and divide by 2. And that gives me an area of 36 feet. The EPA had to drain a lake full of contaminated water last year. The hole where the lake was has now been cleared to be refilled. Before it gets refilled, it needs a mesh net needs to be placed at the bottom of the lake. How many square miles of mesh is needed? So, to do this, you will first need to look at what each square represents. So each block is a fourth of a mile or a quarter. So to find what the area of each block is, you will multiply one-fourth by one-fourth and get one-sixteenth. So now I will underestimate all of the, the area. So when I do that, I count 14 squares. So to find the area of this, I'll multiply 14 by 1 16th square miles, which gives me an area of 875 thousandths. Next, I will overestimate. Doing this, I counted 49 squares. To find the area, you'll multiply 49 by 1 16th, and the area equals three miles and six one hundredths. So now I'll need to find the average of these two by adding the two areas together and dividing it by two, which gives me approximately two square miles of mesh netting that I need to cover the bottom of this lake. 